Hello, welcome to Windwash Art. So I wanted to use my phone to do these videos because it's a lot easier to upload just straight from my phone. But my phone doesn't give a very broad depth of field. So I'm using my DS DSLR camera and hopes that it'll work out. I don't have any editing equipment or software so I can't really edit anything. So it's just going to be shoot and upload on the computer and upload to YouTube and fingers crossed. So, my first little thing I'm going to do for you, just using a cap, it's um, a cap that you find on, on your laundry detergent, and we're going to do something kind of cool. Now, I must say, I am in love with this color, it's called Ultramarine Blue. Who needs a man when you have an amazing color like this? Because this is amazing. So we're just going to have some fun with some color here. I'm going to put several different colors around here. These are paints that, they're all acrylic. They're paints that are mixed up with pouring medium. I just use a cheap one that I get off of Amazon. No big deal. Let's see here. Okay. I happen to like these colors. <coughs> These containers are just condiment containers. You can easily find them on Amazon. Okay, now back here I have some paints that I've mixed up with Floetrol, Australian Floetrol. And Australian Floetrol can create some nice cells. So we'll add a couple colors with the Australian Floetrol and see if we can get some nice cells in there. Okay. Okay, remove that. <clears throat> my little piece here. Oh dear. I've lost my piece that I need. Where'd it go? You have to use a smaller one then. Just something very small is all you need to drag this paint, which is kind of fun. You can actually use anything like paper towel, for example. Uh, this happens to be just some plastic, like a uh, plastic file folder. And the base I put down here is just a black because I like the that color as the base for this kind of painting. All right, just go round and round. If I had editing software, I could play some cool music for you while you watch this or speed it up, but. Maybe someday I'll be technologically advanced. In the meantime, this is what I have. So you really don't need any weight on it, which is really handy. You can see some of the cells that are forming, which is really nice. <coughs> Some nice cell actions here and here. Really cool. All right, let's see what we can do here. It's nice too with this kind of painting, you use a circle that's that works for the size canvas that you have. You can use embroidery hoops, which I've done on larger ones. 
and I'll do again. Okay, so we're going to do another round. <clears throat> so this is my first video showing some of my art as I'm creating it. And again, if I can get some editing software, I'd be able to do some really cool things with it. But until then, it's kind of basic. Some nice cell action. I wish there was more, but that's okay. It's nice to see all the various colors coming through, though. This is spin just for hahas. Ha oh, that's not too bad. It's okay. Not one of my favorites, but it's colorful at least. It's interesting how the middle section develops too with the spinning. I'm gonna make one, one more just for the heck of it. All right, well, I guess that's as, as good as this one's going to get today. So I just wanted to do a tester video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. They will get better. I'm just learning how to do this process. So I wish everybody a fantastic day. <laughs>